Hello everyone, I'm Jaya Ahuja from BT Shahani Naveen Hind English Medium School. Today I'm going to share my experience about teaching the topic symmetry to the students of Standard 6 with the help of hands-on activities. Before starting this topic, I would like to confirm whether the students are aware of the terms lateral inversion, axis of symmetry, 2D and 3D objects. For this, I distributed some worksheets with half drawn figures. I gave my students 5 minutes to complete the worksheets and pointed out to the worksheets with symmetrical shapes. For this, I appreciated the efforts of my students and I told them that we will be doing one more activity with the help of some different shapes and for that I divided the class in a group of 2-2 students as per the strength of the class. For this activity, make a square, triangle, hexagon and pentagon from colored paper or newspaper. Draw the symmetric line on all polygons with the help of a pencil and a scale. Complete the following table. I encourage the students to find out other such polygons and to find out the axis of symmetry by folding them. At this point, I ask questions like, what do you observe about the shapes when you start folding at different points? How many axes of symmetry do you observe while folding? For the students who found it difficult to understand the concept, I told them to make a blob of watercolor on a piece of paper, fold the paper in the middle, press the paper, then reopen it, and then they found that the design on both the sides of the paper was identical. They enjoyed this activity, they were very happy to perform it, and then I told them, now let's move on to the next activity. For this activity, you need puppet template, scissor, cut the puppet template, pull along the dotted lines. Arrange these parts as shown in the image. Stick and paste to make a puppet. Then I discussed what happens when we fold the paper horizontally and vertically. Students followed the instructions, made a paper puppet and they could easily visualize the lines of symmetry with the help of horizontal and vertical folds. Then I told them you can find axis of symmetry of letters and objects. Then even I gave an example of a paper human chain and the children understood the concept of symmetry thoroughly. After the activity, to initiate the discussion, I asked some questions from the students. What is so special about this puppet? What can you say about the left hand side and the right hand side? What can you say about the dotted lines at the center of the puppet? I pointed out at the axis of symmetry and then I asked them what can we call the horizontal line along which this figure is symmetrical and what can we call the vertical line along which this figure is symmetrical. Students then discussed how to generate symmetrical figures with the help of axis of symmetry. I also gave them hints how to fold a figure along the axis of symmetry. This example helped the students to understand the concept of symmetry and also to visualize the axis of symmetry. You can share examples of rangoli and column designs with them and tell them to point out the lines of symmetry. This is a fun way to increase the visualization of line of symmetry we can identify as many symmetries as possible in the given figure. As an extension of this topic, I told them to observe the symmetrical shapes in nature which repeat to form patterns. This appealed to the students to see the designs and enjoy the beauty of symmetry that prevailed in nature. To conclude the lesson, we can ask the students to find the extra symmetry for objects like a ruler, a notebook, a protector and a pair of scissors. So friends, with this lesson plan, you can help your students understand symmetry and its applications in an interesting way. I hope you like the lesson. Please try out these activities and share with me. The link for the lesson plan is given in the description box. Thanks for watching.